Well, I guess this is the one we didn't want to have to do, uh, the last one of the season, given yeah. what happened last week. Uh, what's the mood like in camp? What type of week has it been? I think, um, look, there's, like I said to you guys after the game, I think obviously we're all disappointed and hurt in terms of we really wanted to make the playoffs, especially, of course, it wasn't, like I said to you many times, it wasn't the objective from the start of the season, but having been so close and, and with it in our hands, um, for quite a long period, obviously that disappointment and hurt. Of course it is, you know. But I think that shows again how far this group of players and everyone's come on. That you know, we believed that we were going to do it, and, and we believed that we even have a chance. So um, yeah, it's been that hurt and disappointment. But like I said to the players this week, and, and the response from them this week is is finally important that we finish this last game on a high, and, and we finish it with what we have been doing, which is winning lots of games and. And with that mentality and, and and putting on a performance that everyone can be proud of, that's what something that's vitally important to us. That's something that's been going on this week, and from, and from the reaction from the players, as I expected, they've been very focused and they've trained very well, and, and looking forward to this game. I guess, as always, at the end of the season, there's going to be people moving on, etc. It'd be nice to end on a high, wouldn't it, for the, the lads yeah. that have been involved and, and done so well? Yeah, and I think so as well for um, for our fans. This one, we really need to finish for our fans like I said it's, it's it's one of them situations you know we could end up with 77 points and, and on any other season that we would have faced we would have made the playoffs so I think it's important that albeit that we we can't make the playoffs barring a mathematical miracle um, that if we finish with that, that that shows that the players have in effect delivered a, a, a playoff or promotion chance season which is something that the club's not had for a long, long time, um, it's something that we can all be proud of. Which I'm proud of the players. Anyway, whatever happens, is is it's been a successful season. But I think just ha ending it on a high for many reasons for our fans, for for the players themselves. Um, I think it just gives that positive ending that, that, that these players deserve and that everyone connected with Leeds deserves. So it been like for you this week because there's been a, a large outpouring of emotion uh, in your favour from the Leeds fans. Mm. They've got it uh, trending on Twitter that they <laughs> want you to stay. What, what's it been like for you? It's just been. I said it all the way along. They've just been fantastic. I mean, fantastic with me. I've really appreciated that that support from from all the Leeds fans and and everyone connected with the club. And I think, like I said to you, that was one of my big objectives. I think taking a club that's been kind of fragmented in many ways over over many years and and was connecting that all back together. You know, giving the fans a team to be proud of. That was one of my biggest objectives. Was to give the team that feeling that. They're connected and that rapport with the crowd, and and that's like I said many times, it's grown from strength to strength. And then the support that they've shown myself, my staff, and the players has been incredible. It's been incredible. The crowds that are coming back to Ellen Road, the crowds that we take away from home, and and of course, you know, it means a lot. You know, it's been fantastic, and that's a big part of um, the success of the season, um, and that's a big part of of what the club needs anyway to move forward. And is having that relationship back, everyone together. That mentality where all of us are in it together, us, the fans, the players, and um, I think that's been proven this season just what the club's capable of, you know. And that's something, like I said, to make sure that that it's held on to and it's able to allow the club to to go forward in the future, which is vitally important. And that's a big, if not one of the, probably the biggest part of it. Any progress on talks for your future yet? Um, look, it's it's a situation that I've heard a lot of the rumours this this week and. And read some of the stuff that's publicised. Look, there's nothing that's been decided yet, and I'm still to speak to the club. But I've had contact from uh, Mr. Ravazzani this week. He wants to he wants to um, sit after the game um, against Wigan, and um, and obviously discuss all the issues that are needed to go to go forward. Um, so yeah, um, that'll be the process. And, and like I said, looking forward to, to to talking to him about all the issues that are needed to to help progress the club in, in terms of going forward. Does that be a big boost to everyone at this club, I think, if you were to commit your future? Yeah, I think that would be part of, obviously, the talks. There's a lot of things to talk about. Um, there's a lot of things that we we'll need to put in place and, and how it all works and, and, and all of those um, issues, uh, myself and everything else included, I'm sure, will come over these coming weeks. Um, but I think, obviously, I won't know until, until we speak. But... Um, yeah, when that comes, I'm sure like all the issues that need to be clarified and, and made clear, and, and really for the best of, of what's the, what's best for the club to go forward. You said when you came in, 
uh, back in the summer that you, you were aware of what potential this club has. Do you feel it's got even more than you thought it had now you're in it and you've done what you've done? Yeah, I, I think I, kn I knew it was a great club. I knew. And um, I think just working in here every day and, and seeing it grow and and like I said, all those things that have been put together, the foundations that have been put in place, that rapport with the crowd coming back, the numbers that are turning out, I just think it, it just it does. It highlights just the potential of the club, you know, and, and what it can be. And I think this season has been a reminder in many occasions um, exactly what it can be. Some of those atmospheres at Ellen Road, even in the atmosphere on Saturday, when that, I think it was the second goal went in, I think that's one of the loudest roars, one of the strongest feelings I had in terms of you know, when you feel that hair on the back of your neck stand up, that was it just showed the full potential of the club and um, and this understanding that what's been put in place this season is what's going to allow for those type of occasions to be more regular and and be in those situations, hopefully in every single game that we play. And, and that's that's been the most important bit. So yeah, it's it's, um, it's something for everyone to look forward to. There'll be another big following at the DW on Sunday. What type of Leeds team are they going to see? Are you going to make any changes? Or? This is the one where. No, look, it's, it's one that we, we have to go into win. You know, we've had that mentality all season. Um, and this one is for our fans. You know, this one, 100%, we have to put a performance on for our fans, like we have been doing and trying in every game, but vitally important for them. They've been unbelievable with us this season. They've come, like I said, it, I can't speak highly enough of them. They've been an unbelievable support, and it's really pushed these players onto probably higher levels than we thought they could get to so early. Um, and it's just made everything positive, you know, back on the club and, and they've been really, like I said, they've been able to concentrate on the football, you know, and everything that's going on on the pitch and that's what a football club should be and um, and they've played a massive part in it. So, we you know, we we go there determined for ourselves as well, but we go there, you know, mostly for our fans to make sure that all those numbers that turn up um, can go away happy. Last one from me. I know you're very team, 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 but Chris Wood could get to 30 goals this weekend. I just want to ask you about his season and also... Kyle Bartley, who you brought in on loan, has been outstanding for the club. Yeah, um, those two themselves, you said they've had outstanding seasons. And I think that shows as well within the group. You you get to the... We had the awards dinner the other night, for instance, and you could probably name five, six or seven that could be up for that award or for all the different awards. And that just shows how much all of them have contributed. And um, it's really been a team effort. Um, that's another thing that I concentrate on, the, the effort of the team, the togetherness, the spirit, the mentality wasn't just from the terraces, it was from within as well and, and, and that's what you need to be successful and, and again that's another huge step forward for this club. I think that's what everyone's appreciated, seeing a team that's together and everyone contributing, everyone trying to raise their levels and um, and yeah we just fell short of that, that final hurdle but that's something to learn from and, and make sure that in the future we can make those improvements and, and add that quality to, to help help the team in that situation.